Hello friends, welcome back. So let's continue with the functional interface. All right. So we have already covered all these uh, points in the last video, but let me just quickly revise in case if you are new. So functional interface as per the rule, functional interface can have only single abstract function SAM. So basically any interface having one abstract method is known as functional interface. This is what the rule says and you need to keep this particular rule in your mind always. Now Java 8 has introduced annotation called at the rate functional interface annotation to declare a functional interface like this at the rate functional interface and here is my interface and I just have only one abstract function. So this is a very good example of functional interface in Java 8. All right. So apart from having abstract method, a functional interface can also have any number of static variables, default methods and static methods as well. All right. So let me open the ID STS. Let me give you some examples so that I can explain these points in a more a better manner. All right. So here is my ID. Let me close this. I will just go ahead and create a new example. If you guys are following me, you can also do same. So I'm going to create a new class called functional interface example. Very simple. Now, so this is my class. So let me just go ahead and create one interface. So what is the rule says? Rule says an interface having one abstract method. So let me just call it as my first interface, right? What is the rule? Rule says an interface having one abstract method. One abstract method, right? This is an abstract method. Why? Because there is no body attached to it. Correct? There is no implementation. So as per the rule, this is a valid example of functional interface, right? There is nothing new. It's a very re your regular interface, but the only point is that it has got only one abstract method. Correct. Now, if I have to make use of this particular interface again, I have to implement, right? So what I will do is I will implement this particular implement, uh, interface here. Now you see this will ask me to provide the implementation. So I will write here this out it's not working here so i will just type myself system dot out dot print allen and here i'll type my first functional interface all right nothing new very simple implementation now if i have to call this particular function i need to have a main method right so i will go ahead and create an, an object of this particular class into new let me make it big so that you guys can see it clearly now it's very normal now i will just use my object to call this part sorry object dot first to call this particular function so now if i run this particular uh, program i should see this particular implementation on my console so here you go now as per the rule this is an example of functional interface why because an interface having one abstract method is known as function now the second question interviewer can ask you is there any annotation available to declare an interface as functional interface then the answer is yes there is an annotation called at the rate functional interface all right so we have at the rate functional interface annotation available in Java 8 to declare an interface as functional interface, right? Now, what is the benefit? There is no change, right? So if I run this program, I will get the same result. You see, so it's an optional annotation. So basically it's an optional annotation. So if you want, you can have it. If you don't want, you can ignore, right? Now, what if I don't use? So for example, it's optional, right? What if, if I don't use? So for example, let me just go ahead and add one more function here called second. Correct. Now, as long as soon as you add a new abstract function in your interface, in your functional interface, you will see that now you need to provide an 
implementation to this particular method right correct so this is the problem now if i override this particular method my the definition of having a functional interface is not true anymore as per the rule functional interface can have only one abstract method but here i have two right so this is no more a functional interface it becomes a real regular interface correct so now because if uh, like for example if i am working so if i am working i know that it's functional interface it's good but now if there is some other developer and for some situation if he has to create a new interface he can do that simply right he will just create new function and he will provide the implementation but your idea of having a functional interface will not be true anymore correct so to avoid this particular scenario and to tell the next developer that this interface is a functional interface and cannot have abstract any like can have cannot have more than one abstract function what you do you use the annotation now you see the magic here so if i use at the rate functional interface now you see here it says invalid at the rate functional interface annotation why because now this is not a valid functional interface why because as per the rule a functional interface can have only one abstract method and you have put another second abstract method right so you will get the compile time error at the very first moment when you add a new abstract method in your interface right so this is the advantage to so answer to your to, to the question right so is there any advantage of having a fun uh, having a at the rate functional annotation at the rate functional interface annotation so the advantage is yes because it will avoid any accidental changes or the any other changes in the functional interface because it's a functional interface and you don't want any programmer to go ahead and create a new abstract method if someone tries to do it if like for example if i have to go and create if i try to do it at the same moment i will get the compile time error saying that this particular interface is functional interface and you cannot have any more abstract function you are violating the rule right so this is the advantage keep this in mind interviewer will definitely ask you this question right correct i hope you have got the idea and i hope you have understood now if you guys remember as part of the java 8 the as part of the java 8 a functional interface can have default and static methods so i will just give you an example here but we'll talk about what is a default function what is an uh, static function in the coming videos but just for your understanding i will give you a quick example here so let me just call it as so let me just create one function so i will call create the second function and i will provide the implementation here itself system dot out dot print ln so as per your understanding right as per the rule an interface cannot have a non abstract function right this is what the rule says and if you try to put one if you try to create one you will get error so compile time error right now what the suggestion says so because i am using java 8 right it says either you remove the function body you remove the method body because an interface cannot have abstract function cannot have non abstract function now if you really want to create one if you really want to create one non abstract method go ahead and declare that particular method as either default or static right so i have to simply go ahead and create default here so now I, my compiler will come to know that this is a default method introduced in java 8 and it's a valid one so you see there is no compile time error correct so the idea behind default interface or sorry the idea behind default function is to provide default implementation of some functions right so but we'll talk about default methods in the coming videos i just want to give you an idea here that a, apart from having one abstract method a default inter, a, a function interface can also have default and static method right so for example if i go ahead and create third and if i have to provide some implementation i am third so static correct so now you can have multiple default you can have multiple static so you need to keep these rules in mind all right now if i run this particular oh sorry a java application see it's still working a functional interface good thing now if i have to use this particular how can we go ahead and make use of default and static in the coming videos because i don't want to extend this particular video 
too much i hope you are you guys are getting uh, it right i hope it's uh, much more clear clear now let me give you one more one more example here so that is another interview question functional interface inheritance now what does it mean so for example let me just go ahead and create one interface so i am creating a say printable it's my interface and can have one public void print it's my abstract method right as per the rule this is the functional interface and let me just go ahead and declare it because it's always good to use at the rate functional interface annotation and now i think you guys know the reason as well right now here we did we are going to talk about inheritance so we know in what is inheritance right so we have a parent child relationship right so this is my one interface or say parent interface let me just go ahead and create one interface called child interface right and here so as per the rule let me also declare this one also as functional interface so you see there is an error why because it says it's invalid at the rate functional interface why because there is no abstract method as per the rule a functional interface should have only and only one abstract method so it is mandate now functional interface should have one abstract method so if i go ahead and get one because i have to create that that is what the rule says ruled child happy so everything is good right there is no error now here we are talking about the inheritance so let me just extend this particular interface and see what happens extends parent you see what it says invalid at the rate functional interface annotation can you guys guess what is the reason i hope it's very basic right because you are extending the parent interface here in child and parent has one abstract method you so your child will also have the same method available here right so in the sense your child interface is having two abstract method and that is why you are getting this particular error because a functional interface cannot have two abstract method it can have only one and only one abstract function right so now if i remove this one right let me just take this out you see it's happy things are good why why because your functional interface is extending printable interface and there is one abstract method because i am extending so i have this particular function here as well correct so to extend a functional interface you just need to make sure that the the, the child interface should not have any abstract function correct as it as it will spoil the rule now again as i told you it can have a default or a static function whatever you see first correct similarly i can also have a static function so that's a different story but yeah you can have right so here we are going to, we are talking about the inheritance of functional interface which is possible but the condition is that the child interface should not have any abstract method correct now for example let me give you one more example here let me just create one more interface called top interface a regular interface so basically in java you can have a interface without any members we call it marker interface we call it what we call it marker interface so interviewer can ask this particular question first of all the interviewer can ask you is it possible to have a interface having any members yes is possible java allows you to have interface without any members and those specific or special interfaces are known as marker interface because like for example we have something called serializable is uh, one of the uh, marker interface because it has nothing it has no members now if i have to extend this particular implements what will happen nothing why because this interface has no members there are no methods so again this is also a valid scenario it's a valid function interface because it has only one abstract method correct now if i have to use uh, any of these for example let me just call uh, the i want to implement the child interface right so uh, what i will do is i hope you can do it yourself right? or you want me to do it let me just do it for you guys implements child 
let me provide the implementation so print and system dot out dot print ln i'm printing something right now things are easy right so i will simply create main method and then i can invoke right so i hope you've understood the idea because the idea is not uh, here to how to call this particular method because i've already explained how can you go ahead and create new function in the interface and then how can call it's a very easy thing to do correct so let me just run this one and then you will see the result here oh sorry cancel run as java application happy so i hope you have got the idea now you need to keep these things in mind that a functional interface can extend a non-functional interface but there should not be any parameters right there should not be any members there should not be any abstract function so this is my regular interface regular interface why because so this is not my functional interface you know you know the reason right why because it has no abstract method correct now a functional interface can extend a non-functional sorry can extend a regular interface the condition is that the regular interface should not have any abstract function so this is a valid scenario another example a child interface a functional interface can extend another functional interface as long as it does not have as long as it does not have the abstract function correct now third equation your abstract function can have n number of default and static methods we'll talk about these two in the coming videos all right i hope i'm making some sense if you guys if you think that there is some doubt and you need more clarification you need more examples just let me know in the comment section i'll come back i'll create another video i will give you more examples all right so thank you for watching and bye for now i'll catch you next one